Good day everyone, I am Nero Rodriguez Villan. I am a college student, currently taking Bachelor of Science in Fisheries. Today, we are going to demonstrate the three lab activities in our subject, post-harvest fisheries. We will show you how the right or proper process of market cut form, salting, and drying dehydration. But before that, I would like to introduce you my group mates. First, she is a spectacular and a surgeous person, Ms. Rubilin Kassin. Later, she will demonstrate the right or proper process of salting, Second, one of the most talkative in our vlog. She's also small but elegant, Miss Leia Yanti. Later, she will demonstrate the right or proper process of drying and dehydration. And I will be the one to demonstrate the right process of market cut form. Now, let's start. Meron akong 2 sample ng milkfish. Ito yung gagamitin ko sa pag-market form. Milkfish is an extremely bony fish. Its white meat has a mild flavor that makes the fish good for a variety of cooking creation. Milkfish, chans chanus, is a large herring-shaped fish. So bago tayo mag-proceed sa pag ng fish, pinatanggal tayo ng scales ng isda. Next is, proceed tayo sa drum. Ito yung tinatawag natin visera remove. Ibig sabihin, yung internal organs and damning cavities of the body, especially those in the abdomen like intestine, has been removed. Yung abdomen or viscera ay lamang loob. So, tatanggalin natin yung lamang loob dun sa inside the fish. Um, itong, um, this the third one is about just becerra. Scales, head, tail, fins has been removed. Pero yung skin ng fish should be intact. So the other form of, of market form is sticks. Sticks. O mas kilala natin as fish cutlets. Kadalasan ito yung main cut natin kapag nagluluto tayo ng pang ulam. Especially pagbangos or tuna, pwede sa tilapia. It is generally cut or sliced acromasal fiber. It has been cut parallel. Um, the next one is uh, fillet, which means a thread or a uh, strip. It is a boneless side of fish with or without skin. Yung fillet is hihiwain sa kabilang side. Then yung single fillet, yung hihiwain sa kabilang side. Kapag double fillet naman, hihiwain siya sa both sides. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na um, another way of market cut form, yung sticks. Cuts from large block of fillet. Sa paghiwan nito, dapat be careful. Yung stick, they are commonly available in the frozen food section of supermarket. Sa mga mall, makikita natin siya. Siyempre, meron din siyang nutrients value. taking the fillet away from the backbone. The bone is taken out. Ito yung kadalasan na nakikita natin sa palante. Masarap to, lalo na kung ibabad natin sa toyo, then eh, ipapry natin siya. using salting method. Ang ating materials ay tamban fish, bangus fish, and also 
water, and then yung empty box, and then also yung salt. Ating fish ay nalinis na, including uh, gills and internal organs, and also the scales. Cover, and soak in saturated brine for 10 to 12 hours. After soaking, drain the drained fish for 2 to 3 hours. First, using trench salting. First step, maglalagay tayo ng water sa ating empty box. 3 cups of water. Ayan. Ayan. 3 cups of water. And then, mag-add tayo ng salt. Let's assume na 1.8. cake. After draining, place the salt on the bottom of the box. Put enough salt on top to make the to make for which dissolve and runs out as brine. Ito na ang ating finished product using Kench salting method. na itali ko na yung sample products namin. And para sa akin kasi, this is the safe way para sa pagbibilad ng products namin. And US predators na rin, like dogs and cats. And let's proceed for the next steps.